Hey guys, so jumping right into this video, we're going to start with having a bowl. We're going to be using two eggs. Um, olive oil. I'll be using extra virgin olive oil. And lastly, our honey. Okay, so I'm going to begin by cracking two eggs. Initially, you can use just one egg, but because I have a lot of hair, I'm going to be using two eggs instead. Just to cover all, my, my whole head. And I'll just be scrambling my eggs afterwards because, I don't know, it, I think it's easier when you scramble it and then add everything else afterwards. So I'll just be scrambling it. And then I'll be adding in my two tablespoons of honey. As well as two tablespoons of my olive oil. Afterwards, just mix, 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 all together. Oh, and um, I'm going to just let you guys know the benefits of honey. The honey is actually an emulant, which means like it's, it seals in moisture. So it really helps in keeping your hair conditioned and reducing breakage. Um, it also, which is often the cause of hair growth, or slower hair growth because of breakage. And it's like not moisture, lack of moisture. Um, it keeps your scalp healthy and shiny and moisturized as well. Um, it's rich in antioxidants. It's just an all around a good thing to eat and to have on your body. So in the end, this is your consistency. It smells really good, by the way. The honey and the, and the oil. The eggs, eh, not so much. Alright, so this is my face. <laughs> I just woke up and I was like, let me just get this over with. So look at my hair. Don't judge me, guys. It was wild. I haven't did my hair in a, a week. I was about to say a year. A week. And I just had these two braids and I just kept it like that. So I'm going to start by taking out my braids. When I showed you guys that I use um, scrunchies at the end, I don't use rubber bands because rubber bands breaks your ends and I use the ouchless okay so this is my hair and so because the mixture is really messy I'm going to be grabbing a towel and just to put around my neck Make sure no dripping and no spills happen. And I'll be taking duck lips. I'm just regular duck lips, duck, ugh, duck lips. <laughs> and putting it on my towel. Guys, look at this new growth. All right, and I also have an applicator brush. You can use your hands as well. I don't know, I was just trying with the brush first. Eventually, I started using my hands, but yeah, or just start with your hands, it's easier. And I part my hair in four, part my hair in four just to make things easier for me instead of just dipping my whole head into the bowl. So I can actually get to your roots. All right, so I did the left side already, and I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did my right side. So I it off with my brush and I dip it into the mixture and then I'm just going to apply it to my roots. Just like that you apply it like you're um, applying a relaxer. Pretty much. It's pretty much the same motions. And zoomed in a bit. Yeah, so you're just going to put that in and then you can just part your hair and just keep on going in that pattern. Make sure I, I'm I drenched my hair in it. I'm pretty heavy-handed, even if I'm not really using my hands with a brush. It's still the same thing. And I do it. Um, I take the brush, dip it in, and then I put it at the bottom as well, so that all my hair is saturated in the mixture. In the mask. 
So you guys pretty much get the gist and So now that I finish adding, well applying it to my roots first, I'm going to just take my hand and apply it all over my hair. Rub it in, put it in. Start from the top and work my way down to my roots. Well, to my roots, work it down to my ends. Just saturate my whole hair in the mask. Get all your edges. And that's pretty much it. And then you just tie up your hair. Make a little bantu knot. Or you can even twist it or braid it, whichever. Ever rocks your boat. Okay, so here I am, all four sections completed, hair completely saturated, and now I'm going to take a <laughs> plastic bag. I'm advertising for Dollar Tree, <laughs> but yeah, I just use plastic bags or whatever shower cap. Basically, whatever. Well, shower caps does the same thing. Correction, plastic bags does the same thing as shower caps. So it's pretty much the same thing, so it didn't really matter. And I just used a scrunchie to tie, tie it up. And then I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. So I'll most likely be sitting under my hooded dryer because I feel like that would be best. And 30 minutes later, here I am. I'm going to take off my plastic bag my hair is hot and steamy right now and now to go wash it out I'll be right back so this is my hair after washing everything out I have no product Lola is still wet it's not even completely dried and my hair is extra flowy bouncy and I'll see you doing this again. Cause I really like it. And my ends are really thick. That's a good thing. But yeah, guys, try this. Let me know what your results is. And yeah, I'm happy with my results. Now to put some product in it, moisturize it and seal it. And I'll go about my business.